Hey, there's Brian and his girlfriend there. Uh, they are now in North Carolina. That's right. That's right. They are now in North Carolina. And, uh, like, you know, it, it, if you include North and South Carolina, we got all the nomads here right now. Let's see. See, I got the map here. I don't know, you know. Lumberton. He's now in Lumberton, the Lumberton area. So that's down here in southern, southeastern North Carolina. We got Morgan, Unstoppable Morgan, somewhere over here in South Carolina. Uh, anyway, we got Casey Roman, of course, down here. Uh, we got uh, Trippin' Tracy and her troll. <laughs> uh, they're up here somewhere in Western North Carolina. We got Rossi Poo over here. We had Lola over here. Uh, we got Camo Dave right here, or wherever that is, yeah, right in there. So we got Doxinator over here. Who else is here? I don't know. There's there's a whole bunch of nomads right now in North Carolina, South Carolina, Eastern Tennessee. So uh, yeah, I, what the heck? Why do we need the national map? I should just get the little stickers and stick everybody around here, right? Anyway, so uh, I don't know. Good one there from uh, Brian. And uh, yeah, enjoying. He did a nice job fixing up the uh, box truck there. And he said they're just passing through North Carolina, so uh, no whopper for Adventure Van Man Brian. He's not going to be heading into the western part of the state. In fact, he's going to be heading north to Virginia to meet up some of his girlfriends. To meet up with some of his girlfriends' friends. So, uh, so that's where they're headed. Virginia. It's for, it's for lovers, you know. I know one from traveling with the Graham Crack uh, Rady, I believe his name is. Uh, they are, he's up there in the, the Williams area there, part of Aja's tribe up there in uh, Williams, Arizona. Aja Acres, not far from there. Anyway, he's noticing that the pine trees are starting to get brown branches. There looks like parts of the parts of the pines up there. Uh, you know, trees are pretty scarce in that area. There's, you know, as you see, it's a lot of scrubby looking pines and and stuff like that it's kind of a harsh environment for tree growth but anyway whatever trees there are there are getting whacked by beetles there's lots of beetles around and he's concerned that the trees uh may be uh i don't know not there for much longer anyway uh yeah wow traveling graham cracker there's his compost bin so uh yeah so you know hey you know, doing the doing the thing, recycling the food. It's all you know in the the cycle of nature, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, rocks in the road, huh? You gotta love it. You gotta love it. RV Rebel Girl, RV Rebel Girl channel and videos are not intended for kids or anyone under the age of thirteen. You know, I you know though that goes back to. More than a year ago, late 2019, when everyone was afraid that the, the COPA COPPA rules, remember those COPPA rules, Children's Online Protection Act rules, everybody was so afraid that those rules were going to shut their channels down. And, you know, it was like the gas shortage and the toilet paper shortage. Everybody was screaming and yelling that, uh, anyway, uh, that was going to do something about it. So everybody posted little disclaimers that your channel's not for kids. You know, I, I mean, if I had a kid under 13, I would be more than happy to let them watch RV Rebel Girls videos. They're, I mean, yeah, they're not made for kids. It's not children's entertainment, you know, clowns and puppets and stuff. But it's certainly family friendly. Anybody of any age can watch. You know, it's, come on, jeepers creepers. Anyway, uh, meeting Mickey there for, well, Mickey, you know, now, when I first saw this video title pop up, I thought that was a code word for a certain nomad we don't talk about anymore. <laughs> I did. I really thought, oh, she met him, you know, uh, Derek. <laughs> nah, uh, no, no, no. And, the, and there's a bear. There's a bear in her video. She should have put that as her clickbait title. A bear's in my video, RV Rebel Girl. Yeah, a bear's in her video. <laughs> now, that would have gotten her way over the... Yeah, now that would have gotten her some viral video treatment. There's a... I, I come upon a bear. Woo! That's Mickey. Anyway, I thought that was Eric. No, Derek. I know. And I thought that was Oz. No, no, never mind. The dog's name is Mickey. And, uh, you know... Can't go wrong if you're wearing camo pants. That's all I'm saying. Jackery's having a sale. Jackery's having a sale. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
they never do that, do they? Man, everybody and their brothers pitching jackeries these days. I'm just, I'm all jackeried out. I'm sorry. I know they're probably, you know what? They never offer me to sell them. You know, I, they're probably probably one of the better uh, power banky stationy things out there. You know, but anyway. Um, uh, happy birthday to Story Chasing Amber. She started up a live stream uh, last night and uh, did, did okay on the super chat front. Uh, and then her live stream conked out, and then she had to start a second one. So, so uh, you know, but uh, you know, it is kind of funny that you know we're touting our own birth. It's my birthday. You know, usually you kind of let other people tout your birthdays, but hey, you know, <laughs> it's it's my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't know. New one there from Carolyn's RV Life. Um, I didn't even, I honestly didn't even watch it. It did, it just looked, eh. <laughs> and I think a lot of people got the same idea and only got 6,000 views. Uh, and we got a nice one here from Pandemonium, the riding a horse for 37 minutes. You know, uh, John's there. Um, you know, I, I give you permission to skip that one. You won't miss much. But if, you know, if you're into horses and stuff, that might be a, might be a, worth your while. I don't know. Anyway, we got Rob here, a little house off grid. What we like to do every couple weeks with Rob is check out his clickbait. So let's see what uh, calm, relaxing, you know, you think you got to live off grid, right? A calm, relaxing life. Just a nice, calm, relaxing life off grid. Little house off grid Rob there. And there's his latest clickbait. They're watching. I'm very scared. Wait, wait. We got to get to his latest ones, right? Let's go to the latest ones here. Condemned. He's condemned. They can kiss my you-know-what. They they did what to his wife? <laughs> it's over. The jerks got him. She's fed up. Not again. They tore it up. They require something. I don't care. I'm, I need a lawyer. I'm suing. Community, H-A-T-E-S, our home. $10 gas? The ec economic crisis? This can't be happening anyway. They're making me quit. They said it would fall down intruders while I slept. <laughs> oh, my. And, of course, having to cut his leg off. Man, oh, man. I'll tell you. Ugh, I don't know if I could take all the stress of off-grid living. It just sounds too crazy. Uh, we've got a lot more people he heading out for this area. They, you know, Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina, very popular this time of the year. Chickory's Travels, uh, Lynchburg, Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Parkway, a KOA review. Quite a few people now uh, in the um, in the uh, this this region right now, and it is nice. If the weather's cool. The problem is the problem is trying to find gasoline. You know, there's still shortages around. It's still kind of hard to find. That's the only problem we're going to have. Otherwise, the weather's beautiful. Everything looks, you know, it's a beautiful spring for this part of the country right now. The, you know, not big thunderstorms, nice low humidity. But, yeah, try to find try to find an open gas station. You can find one, but it's not going to be like, you know, you're going to have to go through three or four stations before you find one that's open. You know, that's just the way it is. You'll probably find an open station, but it's not going to be the first one you try. But they say two more weeks, which is... You know, through late Memorial Day, and then hopefully things will get kind of back to normal. But who knows? Nomad Ranch. Uh, Sue is gone for a second day. And her, um, the dogs, the new dog Scout, Mrs. Mommy. Is she ever coming back? Is Ed, is Ed going to be alone now? I don't know. You better watch their channel and find out. Anyway, I said it yesterday, and I'll say it again. Uh, Lost on Land Lola is going to be announcing on the 19th, which is uh, Tuesday, or Wednesday, rather, Wednesday, uh, what the plans for the upcoming Lola Palooza. She has that every year down there in the Texas area. That's where she is. And uh, it's kind of like a, getting to be a pretty major meetup. Uh, so uh, usually it's like October or something, so it'll be interesting to see what the plans are this year. Uh, I'm sure everything will be a lot easier this year without the pandemic and all that. And they, she did an okay job with it last year. So anyway, uh, even with, you know, with the pandemic, it wasn't, wasn't much of a problem. But it'll be interesting to see where it's going to be this year and uh, if it's going to be the same time. But uh, we'll let you know. We'll keep you updated on all the information. 
Still want to hear from Jamie, Enigmatic Nomadics. Jamie, anything going on with the van build? He did say, he did say he was going to maybe have a van build in Indiana sometime in the spring. We haven't heard a word about that. You know, he was planning for that big van build to be down in Georgia last fall, and that got the kibosh. So he is out in the Arizona area right now working on people's rigs and, uh, you know, not posting much of anything. So if we hear from Jamie, um, we'll see. I want to do some traveling sometime this year. I would like to do the traveling out west to you know, be in conjunction with one of these events like the band build or, or maybe even, you know, Lollapalooza. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what goes on anyway. So that's it. All right, folks, got to keep it short. I always say that, and then I, I think this is only going to be an eight-minute video, and then when I put it together, it's like 18. <laughs> I don't know. It's always like that. Ugh. What else have I been watching? You know, I don't always just watch Nomads. I watch other channels, too, and people sometimes say I should talk about the other channels I watch. I watch Classic Album Review. This bald guy uh, talks about uh, his favorite albums. And this was good, the 10 worst album covers. That Led Zeppelin album, I agree with him. That had a, that was an awful album cover. I always watch Theo Joe. Or, or, he gets into a very good discussion of bitcoins and why everybody's going crazy over them and all that stuff. Nick Johnson does a lot of best and worst videos about uh, the you know the United States, which best counties, worst counties, best states. He's from North Carolina. Anyway, he does uh, Montgomery, Alabama, and he, I think he runs into Bama Mike. No, he didn't actually do that. I always like uh, I always like Doug Demuro there. He reviews the uh, Geo, this this hilariously pathetic fifty horsepower economy car. I just started subscribing to Gas Station Encounters. This is a guy who runs uh, footage of the, the little mini mart there at a gas station and all the people that come in and try to uh, hoodwink him, <laughs> steal things, and a lot of shoplifting going on in those mini marts. Noel Phillips there, British dude who, um, a British dude who does a lot of airplane stuff. This is pretty cool. Embraer, these little jets that I think are made in Brazil, flies one around, uh, flies in one around there in Mexico. That's good. Jeb Brooks, uh, he's from also, he's from Greensboro, North Carolina. So another North Carolina, a lot of these guys are from North Carolina. Uh, checks out uh, some very interesting uh, th stuff about Washington, D.C.'s area airports. Uh, a new concourse at National Airport, in D you know, which is actually in Virginia, just across the river from the Potomac. And then some lounge hopping at Washington Dulles, which is out near where I used to live for uh, any, very, anyway, anyway. We've got uh, Scotty Kilmer there, the... Um, Scotty Kilmer, the guy, uh, the the uh, the uh, the uh, mechanic dude. Uh, no gas. He's up in Rhode Island. They're not having gas shortages up there, so he shouldn't be too mad as hell. Uh, what else have I been watching? I just like to watch Diesel Ducey. He's a guy in Roanoke that just goes all over the country and rides elevators. Uh, Any one's local here at the, at the local Ro Roanoke newspaper there. So, uh, interesting cat there. I enjoy watching that. And uh, what else? Is that about it? Oh, yeah. Um, no, no, that's about it. That's all I got to say. So, anyway, thank you for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Monday. It's the 17th of May, 2021. We'll talk to you later. Okay, Gator? Vlog under.